What is up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is a channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, I wanted to unbox my haul from Urban Affair 2. But before anything, take a look at this view. It is such a beautiful day. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. Why? Because we are giving away this new Supreme storage box that I actually picked up from Urban Affair 2. So all you have to do is to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, hit the notification bell, and then hit the link down below so you can see the rest of the mechanics. Actually, all you have to do is comment on the post that I link down below. So you're part of the pool as long as you're subscribed and you are following me on IG. Go! So guys, let's get started. So I'll kick things off with the hoodie that I was able to pick up for a little over a thousand pesos. This is a hoodie that's a collab between Riff LA and Secret Fresh. So this is like the official hoodie of Urban Affair 2 because there was actually a pop-up store of Riff LA uh, over at the event at the event where they were selling a lot of really great type sneakers for fantastic prices. If you take a look at what's written up front, it says there good people helping good people. Awesome. So to maximize the hoodie, let's put it on. <laughs> okay, now now let's get to the fun part. We go to the sneakers. These are the sneakers that I picked up during Urban Affair. One, two, three. So let's go over them one by one. Now, I, as you guys know, I'm on a quest to complete uh, the OG 10 from Off-White Nike, their collaboration. I already have seven. So I have seven of the 10 uh, and I'm missing three more sneakers. I'm missing the Zoom Fly, I'm missing the Vapor Max, and I'm missing the Converse. So I was able to pick up three off-white sneakers, but not all of them were all the, all the stuff that I needed to complete the 10. So let's just go through what I have. So first up, we have the off-white Nike Vapor Max. So this is the OG Vapor Max. This is not the new two versions that recently came out. This is the first OG Nike off-white Vapor Max. So as you guys can see, it comes in that typical brown carton box that says whoosh at the top and if you pop it open it actually has that inverted orange nike box that the vapor max usually comes in so this is what the box looks like from the inside you have that usual off-white tissue paper <laughs> that comes with it and if you just pop it open there you have it guys this is the og the 10 off-white nike vapor max so let's just take it out of the box so you guys can appreciate it. So here you have it. It is all black compared to the other Vapor Max that came out with the 2.0 version. That one actually had like a clear uh, air bubble here at the bottom. This one is just pure black darkness fun. So, <laughs> so as you guys can see, you have the fly knit material. You have the suede here along the laces. You have the white laces. You have the tag. You have that exposed foam along the tongue tab, the exaggerated tongue tab, because as you guys know, with the Vapor Max, you usually don't have this. It's just a very tight upper. And then along the side, it says there uh, the usual typical markings, and then you have that over-exaggerated swoosh with the exposed stitching and the orange tag, and of course, the familiar air in quotation marks. Let's take a look what else is in the box. So you have, of course, the other sneaker. So these are the two sneakers. Then we have three extra laces. So you already saw the one that it came with white. It also comes with green, also comes with orange, also comes with black. So if you want like a low-key wear of the Vapor Max, you just go with the black one. If you want a casual one, you go with the white ones. If you want to go hype beast mode, just wear any of the two or wear both. You can have orange on one shoe, you can have green on the other shoe, and that will pretty much make you into a full-fledged Hype beast. So that's our first sneaker, and this actually brings me up to 8 out of 10. And I'd like to thank 5 Souls 5 for hooking me up with this pair at a great price. Vern, uh, John, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the work that you do to get me the stuff that I want to buy. <laughs> Next up, we have another off-white pair, and this is also something that I also picked up from 5 Souls 5. If you take a look at it, it says there the 10 Converse Chuck Taylor 1970s High. So this is actually uh, brings me up to number 9 out of 10. So it says there Converse 
in quotation marks and you have your typical brown carton box and if you pop the lid open again it has the converse inverted box so this was supposed to be on the outside but with the design of Virgil Abloh for at least his off-white collabs he wanted to do the inverted box so you have the tissue paper here and if you pop it open boom there you have it this is the converse Chuck Taylor uh, 1970s high off-white collaboration let's take it out of the box this is actually part of the ghosting pack of uh, the 10 off-white which means that it's part of the pack that has mostly translucent uppers and you can't get any more translucent than this one because the entire upper except for this part in the middle which is where the laces run through is basically see-through so it is practically see-through of a sneaker <laughs> so you will need to have like a strong soft game if you want to pull off wearing the converse off-white chuck taylor og now of course another converse off-white came out a few weeks or months ago didn't really like that particular pair but this one is just straight up fire so as you can see along the side it says vulcanized in the familiar familiar quotation marks you have that zip tag it says here right and the other pair says left you have the Converse logo uh, on the medial side with the exposed stitching and the orange ta tab, uh, yeah, tape, sorry. And then off-white, etc., etc., here along the side. Take a look at the bottom. It, it's a very icy midsole, I mean outsole. And if you take a look at the inside, it says there the 10 in the familiar uh, off-white insole branding. Let's take a look at the other pair. So it says, it's pretty much the same. So it says they're Converse and all. Uh, the only thing different is that it says left on the toe cap. But else is in the box, we have extra laces. So you have, it came with like the flat white laces as you guys can see here. But you also have a different kind of white lace a black lace with or an orange tip and a white lace with a green tip so if you want it low key i really don't know how you can wear it low key since the upper is translucent but yeah maybe you can go with the white laces and just wear white socks so it doesn't like scream but if you want to go all hype beast mix up the laces mix up your socks and you can just be just be straight up screaming for attention guys we have two more items for this unboxing or haul video so let's just get on with it so this next item uh, it's again another off-white sneaker but it's no longer part of the OG 10 in the sense that it's not part of the 10 original releases of Nike and off-white but it's still a pair that I really wanted to get so let's take a look as you guys can see it says here Nike swoosh in that familiar off-white box this is actually the off-white Nike Presto in white so I actually already have the OG colorway as well as the black colorway but I had the chance to get the black, the white one at a really great price so I decided to cop it so as you guys can see this is still dead stock brand new very clean all white says there air in quotation marks you have the ziplock tag and then you have that spacer mesh here you have that really fantastic uh, midsole that they use for cushioning super comfortable you have the swoosh here, you have the orange tag, and you have the rest of the wordings here along the side of the sneaker. If you take a look at what else is in the box, of course, you have the other pair. And we have ooh, just one set of extra laces in orange. So again, if you want to keep it low-key, you can play it as an all-white sneaker. You can even take out the tag if you want it to be a little more casual that doesn't scream. But hey, if you want to go all hype beast on it, just pop on the orange laces, keep the tag, and then you're pretty much good to go. And last but not the least, of course, we have the item that I've been plugging as the prize of our latest giveaway. This is the Supreme Storage Box. So I was actually able to cut this for 3,500 pesos uh, from the personal collection of DJ Big Boy Cheng. So it is a large size box that you can use to keep your stuff. You can use it to bring your lunch. I don't know if that's the best thing to do with a box like this one. But hey, if you guys are looking for a nice storage box, a hype storage box that you can bring with you either in your bag or if you just want to keep it in your office or in your home, then this one is one of the hypest boxes that you guys can get. And again, you can win it. All you have to do is to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, hit the notification bell, hit the link down below so you can see the rest of the mechanics on how you guys can join. So those four or five items, the three shoes, the box, the hoodie, 
were my cups or the stuff that I was able to buy during my trip over at Urban Affair 2. Uh, I did make a playlist for all the vlogs that I'm doing for Urban Affair, so make sure that you guys watch the entire playlist. I already have like three videos out. This is the fourth video. There will be a fifth more, like maybe one more, and who knows, maybe another a sixth video. But yeah, guys, please do check out the entire playlist, watch all the videos, so you can see what happened throughout the entire event. And if you weren't able to go to Urban Affair 2, I strongly, strongly recommend that you guys make an effort to go to Urban Affair 3, which will most likely happen next year. So that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, and before I go, check out the hotel room that I'm in. It is super sick. One of the nicest hotels to stay in over at BGC. This is one of my favorite. Grand Hyatt, you guys rock. That's it for now, guys. Have a great week. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom!